We went to um, Zambia and Botswana. We went with, uh, well, it was meant to be 20 people, pupils from our school, um, but one dropped out, so it ended up being 19. And we went with two teachers from our school and also like a world challenge leader called Callum. The first segment was uh, acclimatization, which was going to the Kalahari Desert. And um, we got a couple of uh, like expedition, well, like experts of the Kalahari Desert to take us there. Uh, it was brilliant. Um, they taught us like some of the language, showed us like how to set up traps. <laughs> Archery competition, spear throwing competitions. <laughs> the second part was a long trek. Uh, it was um, a trek through all the villages throughout a week and you would go to various different villages, see how they live, live with them and uh, meet people in the village and that was amazing. The villages were amazing. I thought they would be a lot more um, run down, but um, they had little shops and everything. And um, after doing the week long trek, we did another like acclimatization kind of thing. Of course we were acclimatized, but it was just the third segment. It could have been done at the start as acclimatization. We traveled to the Okavango Delta on these little Makoro boats onto a little island with some more guides and we got like a wild safari which was amazing. There was um, we were about 50 feet away from an elephant which was like crazy. It was actually better than the um, normal safari we did at Chobe because you actually saw, well you saw the same animals you did at Chobe except you could walk as close as you wanted to them, well, without them attacking you so. The fourth part of the expedition, the final week, was the uh, project. We had to build two huts in the week we were given and it was really hard work. But it was worth it. I mean, seeing all the kids all the time, they were so like energetic and happy all the time. It was crazy. When we were building the huts, you would work until about 4 o'clock. It was probably the worst around about 2-ish when the sun was at its peak. One of the last days of the project, we um, we finished work and there was a massive group of kids just beside us. We ended up doing a big tour of the village with all the kids. And it was, it was, it was um, beautiful, as you would call it. <laughs> like the kids, like they would always want to hold your hand and stuff. But you had to let, you had to say bye to them, because if you didn't say bye to them at the road, they would actually come all the way to the bit where we were posted at. And then the dog would start barking, because obviously... They weren't allowed intruders, it seemed like. That's it. The whole trip, overall, was amazing. It um, changed a lot of people's outlooks on lives. It, um, it, it was just a life-changing experience and worth it. Worth all the money, everything. Worth all the fundraising. I think what made it the trip that it was, was the people that we were with. And I think that everyone had a role in the group. And I just think, I miss it so badly that I would just go tomorrow if someone told me I could. Think you got it, no, you think you got it. You got it, just don't get it till there's nothing at all. Get together, no, we get together. The second's always better when there's feelings involved. What they say that nothing is forever. Then what makes, then what makes, then what makes, then what makes love the exception? So why, oh, 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 why